Hi, I'm uh, Tony Mesa with Tony Mesa Real Estate School. Um, and uh, we're going to go through a problem that deals with a developer owning a piece of land and um, uh, building houses on lots of equal size. So the question is, Dan owns 640 acres and will build 440 homes on lots of equal size. 20% of the total space will be dedicated as a park. Um, what does that term dedication mean? That's when a private party gives to the government a piece of property for the public's use. So developers dedicate roads, they dedicate parks, maybe school sites. Um, different from eminent domain. Eminent domain is when the government comes and takes your property for a public purpose. But he's dedicating a park that is 20% of the total space. And then he will build a road that is 20 feet by 700 yards. 20 feet by 700 yards road. Um, uh, so that road uh, it's feet by yards right now, right? Uh, and then how large will each lot be in square feet? All right, so conceptually what's happening here? Um, let me first just draw something on the board and I'm going to erase it. I want you to understand conceptually that what's happening is there's a piece of land, right? And that whole piece of land is 600 acres. Um, and then part of it's going to be a park, about 20%, right? And then there's going to be a road. So we're development because it's only got one road, right? Um, but the idea is that wherever you have the park and wherever you have the road, then you don't have space to build homes. So you have total space and then you have the concept of usable space, right? All right, so let's go through this calculation together. Um, what happens is the first thing is he's got 640 acres total, right? I'm going to take uh, 600, I don't know if I just said 600, it's 600 acres in total, right? times 43,560 square feet per acre. Um, this is a number that you need to know for the state exam. The idea is that each acre equals 43,560 square feet. It's just a number you need to know. You're going to use that number maybe on more than one occasion, right? So uh, 600 acres total times 43,560 square feet per acre winds up giving us 26,136,000 square feet. That is the total square footage of that property, of all 600 acres, right? But what did we say? We have to subtract out the park, we have to subtract out the road. All right, so first the park. Uh, the park is 20% of the total space, right? So the idea is I could take my 26 million 136,000 uh, square feet total times 0.2. Why times 0.2? Whenever you do math, you want to use a decimal number. And the idea is to change a percentage number to a decimal number. What you do is you divide by 100. So going over here on the side, right, uh, we have 20%. We take the number 20 and then we put it in our calculator, you divide by 100, and you wind up getting 0.2. That is 20% as a decimal number. Uh, and the way that I do all the math problems, I always convert fractions to decimal numbers. I always convert percentage numbers to decimal numbers, or uh, there could be a percentage number with a fraction and it, change it to a decimal number. It's just a more goof-proof way, especially for those of you that have not done math in a while. One of the wonders of math is you could do the same problem 50 different ways, um, I choose to do it what I feel is the most goof-proof way, right? So, we have 26,136,000 square feet total times 0.2. That will give us 5,227,200 square feet. That is the park that he is going to dedicate. And where you have the park, you cannot build the homes, right? What about the road, okay? You got to be careful. Sometimes on the state exam, they'll give you feet by feet. If it's already feet by feet, you just multiply them and you get the square footage the road takes up. But here it's feet by yards, right? So the idea is that you need to know that one yard equals three feet. For those of you coming from the metric system, a yard is similar to a meter, but one yard equals exactly three feet. So it's 700 yards long, this road. I'm gonna take three feet per yard times 700 yards and that will give me 2,100 feet long. 
That road is 2,100 feet in length, right? Now I have feet by feet, so the idea is I could take the 2,100, 2,100 feet in length, right, times the 20 feet wide. So now it's feet by feet, and now I can figure out the square footage. So 2,100 times 20 winds up giving me here 42,000 square feet for the road, okay? All right, so now I have my total square footage, how much the park takes up, how much the road takes up. What am I gonna do? Uh, I'm going to erase over here, and I'm gonna continue over here, okay? We have total 26,136,000 minus the park, 5,227,200 minus the road, 42,000, right? So, let me go to my calculator here, 26,136,000 minus 5,227,200 minus 42,000. That's going to leave me with 20,866,800. What am I doing here? Okay, you guys could see this all the way over here, I'm assuming, right? So, what am I doing here? Total square footage minus the park minus the road leaves me with the usable square footage, right? And then the last step is I take this usable square footage, right, which is 2,866,800 square feet, and I'm gonna divide that by the number 440. Why? Because I'm building four, 440 homes on lots of equal size. So divided by 440 homes on lots of equal size, that leaves me with 47,424.545. Uh, so that is what I'm left with as the size per lot, right? Remember, they're lots of equal size. So that would be the number I would get, and that would be the answer to that problem. Again, uh, you need to understand conceptually you have total space and then you have usable space. What do you have? The total space, you have to subtract in this example, the park and the road. You also have to know that one acre equals 43,560 square feet. It's the number you need to know for the state exam. And also watch out for the road. If it's feet by yards, you gotta change the yards to feet. And once you convert the yards to feet, then you take the length by the width, feet by feet, and get your total square footage of the road. You have the total square footage, subtract the park, subtract the road, you're left with your usable square footage, and then you divide it by the number of houses being built. Uh, and that gives you the size of each of those lots. Have a great day, bye.